Welcome back to Zoom TV. You're on board the John Hughes Zoomobile powered by a sander and you're just in time to help us hunt down this week's celebrity hitchhiker, Mr. Dan Paris, who was made famous on Neighbours and of course McLeod's Daughters. Now I did ask him to meet me back there, but it looks like he is just up here. And he, yes it is. <laughs> Mr. Dan Paris, how are you, sir? I'm very good, Mr. Pitt, how Mate, are you? It looks like you need a lift, bud. I do, what a coincidence. Well, I know you do, because I've mm. asked you to be here, but <laughs> <laughs> you have to get in the back and answer my question. Oh. Thanks, Walton. Mr. Dan Paris, how are you, bud? Good, Mr. Pitt, how are you? Mate, thanks for getting in the back of the van. Now, you are a friend of mine, you've seen me mm. in the van before, and you know what this is about, the no, celebrity I hitchhiker. Do you know the van well? You know I'm gonna ask you some hard questions. Mm. Okay, now the first hard question is, you ended up on Neighbours, on, yeah. you were actually, and, and a big star on Neighbours. How did that happen? Uh, well, accident, yeah. <laughs> no, that's an easy answer. The, the long and the short, travelling around Australia from Esperance, where I grew up, and I got to Melbourne, and um, I was working in a bar on Chapel Street, as you do, I think I was 23. And uh, yeah, just auditioned. Went into the Grundy's office and said, hello, got a job? And they said, yeah, cool. And You're you joking. Five well, years later, I was still there. It was just the right place, right time. No training, no rehearsal. You know, learn on the job as you go, which is a great thing about those soaps, you can. <laughs> I think they call it acting. When you left Esperance, did you have any inkling at all that the acting was what you wanted to do? Oh, uh, no, she not at all, actually. I wanted to travel Australia. And in fact, when, we, um, when I left Neighbours, uh, within two or three days, I had the camper trailer packed up and I was off continuing, continuing that lap around Australia. So, and we went for a year. So you decide you want to leave Neighbours, you mm. just decided you want to pull the pin at a time when you were one of the most popular actors on Australian TV. What is that like to actually walk into a place like say England and be mobbed? Oh, uh, surreal, yeah. And to think that that was going to be the rest of my life, I think that's why I left and just went bush for a year because I needed to sort of ground myself a little bit again. Um, yeah, that was a bit overwhelming actually. You go to the UK, Everyone seems to coincidentally have a notepad and a pen ready for a signature in case they meet a celebrity in London and a, and a camera. Yep. So you'd walk out, you know, get a coffee at Starbucks, walk out the front, and there'd be 12 people lined up ready to meet you. Wow. They love Neighbours. So what have you done since you've left Neighbours? Um, well, I'm a photographer now. So, well, sort of a bit of both. I've got a uh, photography business, mostly landscape. And, uh, yeah, I've done a lot of travelling. I've worked a lot up in the communities up north in the Kimberley and put a, about four books out now. Wow. So mostly with my photography and... Uh, one with the indigenous groups up there that I live with. Um, currently working on a wonderful program called the West Real Estate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You'd know that. Um, this is our work car. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So, so it's important to note that you have inside you a mm. creative gene. That it's in you. It's there. Yeah, I loved it. And I don't know if it was growing up in the country. I didn't have a creative bone at all. Um, it was sports and that was it, you know. But getting to Melbourne, I think it brings it out, out of you. And I live with a bunch of sort of artists and my partner's very creative and I think that influences you. So, um, yeah, loving discovering the, you know, getting inspired by really obvious and simple things and then turning it into something really arty and creative. Okay, okay, yeah. well, I'm going to see how you respond to these questions, oh. the Ascender Fast Five. Excellent. Okay, you ready? Mm. The first car you ever owned? Datsun 180B. Really? Mm. Old school? Yeah, yeah. The coupe? Uh, a four -door. No, it was a four-door. Your opinion of the worst car on the street and why? Oh, the worst car on the street. You put me on the spot. I don't like punch buggies at the moment, the old Beetle. I mean, I love the Beetles, <laughs> but your crew, every time we go past one, I get a dead arm. <laughs> oh, okay. There Apparently, there's a rule. You've got to punch <laughs> someone. There, when is, you see... there is. Only if you're from Esperance. Why do they keep going past <laughs> Volkswagen, though? That's not fair. I, I mean, don't know, mate. Just... <laughs> they like you, obviously. <laughs> yeah, it's, sure. it's, it's a form of flattery. That's what it is. Oh. Ah, oh, there's one. <laughs> there's one over there. Um, the next question is, what is your opinion of the best car on the street? What? Uh, well, we just had a Lamborghini go past. That was pretty nice. That was hot. That was yeah. hot. What do you drive now? Uh, I've got a Land Cruiser. Yeah, because oh, I'm off road. Yeah. Esperance. Esperance. Oh, you've got to let go of the country. Thing. I know. Beaches, though. We drive on the beaches. Yeah, yeah there you go. Sand dunes. There you go. Camping. I'm just going to ponder. Beautiful, beautiful vision. Final <laughs> question. What is your biggest fear? Biggest fear is uh, drop bears. Drop bears, because I've heard about them, I've never seen one, <laughs> but i tell you what, I don't want to meet one. Are they still around, the drop bears, or it's kind of died, the old drop bear thing? You've got to find them, they're a bit like the Yowie. People at home that don't know about a drop bear will have to Google it. Yeah, yeah, I'll look out for them too. Now, talking about Google, I'm going to wrap up the show and let people know where they've got to go, okay. and me and you will uh, go and have an afternoon coffee. Oh, I think that'll be a nice coffee. Awesome, just be quiet, okay. Mm. Another, look, another, <laughs> another beetle, sorry mate. That's the same one. Now, if you want to know anything more about the show, go to zoomtv.com.au. When you're there, you can get our free iPhone app, you can also get hot deals and you can watch previous videos including this one. Until next week, bye for now, thanks for watching. We're back here 5 o'clock next Friday on 7 May.